Hello and welcome to all you Virgos. How are you doing Virgos? This is your yearly horoscope. So I'm going to do the yearly horoscope for 2018 for Virgo. For those who have a sun in Virgo, a moon in Virgo or an ascendant in Virgo, it's a bit early, I know, but you Virgos are ruled by Mercury. So you're curious, so you're probably going to say what's that year going to be like? And of course, these are general horoscopes, certainly not tailor-made. So, um, but if you like to learn a bit about astrology, and if you're curious about the energies in general for Virgo, then this is the video. Um, it's good news for the Virgo in that respect that I'm going to look at the outer planets. So Pluto, Neptune, Uranus, and so on, Saturn, Jupiter, which is not outer, but anyway, I'm going to look at the farther planets. Uh, to know what's going on because they stay in the same area of life uh, way longer and the good news with Virgo is that it's all in your energy you're going to feel more in your element for sure in 2018 Saturn won't be in Sagittarius anymore which was tension it's going to shift actually in a fellow earth sign of Capricorn it's already there in January for the whole year that's good news. So you're getting the stabilizing factor in a stable way and in not a restrictive way, which is nice, which is different from last two years. Because a lot of Virgos went through the square of Saturn, which was restricting and things need to be restructured. But how? And it's going slowly. That's done. Um, so that's good news. Another good news thing is Uranus. Uranus shifts as from May of 2018 and onwards, it shifts into Taurus and that's also a fellow Earth sign. So you're having here the whole, all the elements of Earth trining with each other, especially, especially around uh, August and September time. Uranus and Saturn are going to form a beautiful trine. That's, that's fantastic for you Virgos. And on what level, let's start with that. On what level is that going to happen? Well, quite on an expressive level and on a mental level as well. So you're going to have in the ninth house that Uranus over there. And you're going to have in the fifth house that Saturn, uh, which is that stable. Normally Saturn in the fifth house on itself, it's like, oh, it's not so easy to be creative or it's a bit more difficult to, um, uh, to get along with your children because you have to discipline them a little bit more. No, I say normally because now that it's not just a Saturn there, it's also trining with Uranus in the ninth. So it's like, because you having new opinions, new, it's like you're shifting a lot when it comes to what you believe in. That's the ninth house. And that gives you a tremendous amount of wisdom and a tremendous amount of stability as well. So there is a stability uh, in life here, forming towards your thoughts, your beliefs, and what you create in life. Whether that is uh, an IT job you're having and you're creating there something, or you're working at home with all your children you're having, whatever, anything that has to do with creativeness, anything that has to do with um, expression as well. Because don't forget, Pluto is still there in Capricorn, in, in, which is expressing yourself. It's going through some sort of, um, of a transformation. So a lot of Virgos get way more expressive uh, because of uh, all that energy in your fifth house of self-expression. So this is really favored here, which means that the old and the new go well together. Uranus is the new, Saturn is the old. In a beautiful energy, it means I can keep the old and go for something new. I don't have to absolutely exclude the old before it goes into something new, which is nice, isn't it? It's a beautiful energy uh, flow that is go going on for you uh, Virgos. On another level, when it comes to socializing, when it comes to your, your, your connections with everyone, which means with friends, with um, uh, colleagues, with um, lovers, with, um, you know, uh, the environment, brothers, sisters, neighbors, it's really fantastic. And it's even a bit magical. Why is that? Because Jupiter is in your third house for the whole year in Scorpio. And that means that 
communication is already important for a Virgo, but when it's in Scorpio, in, in, when it's Jupiter, it means it gives it more meaning. So a lot of deep emotional conversations with people are going to a cure. And I say a touch of magic there because the water sign are going to connect with each other, the Jupiter and Neptune in your seventh house. So for those of you who are single, uh, normally last year and the year before that, it was a bit fluffy, you know, with the Neptune there, it's a bit, uh, watch out for only seeing what you want to see. That's not applicable now because of that beautiful trine that is going to happen a couple of times next year between Jupiter and Neptune. That is soulmate connection. So for those of you who are single, you could really meet a soulmate. And um, uh, that will be around May, August time. Uh, also a good time is January, April, September for love uh, because Jupiter trine, uh, trines, sorry, sextiles Pluto. So um, on, a, on a love level, on a relationship level, it certainly is easier in general for uh, all the Virgos. It goes with more ease. You don't have to do so much effort. And um, that Neptune there, which opposes Virgo, who is so misty, who is so not knowing what's going on, is, is so tricky and, and challenging for the Virgos. But now it's so much getting um, aid of uh, and help of other planets uh, like Jupiter and like Pluto that it's way less challenging and that it is actually the the other side of the medal you don't have to do it always difficult do you so the other side of the medal is that magic you know Virgo is a very earthly rational sign it, it really has to do with you know it, it um, calculates and it needs to f to to see what's happening in order to believe it but now there's going to happen to the virgo some magical encounters some magical um synchronicity uh connection with people that you virgos even you virgos out there are going to think oh life can be fantastic life can be a bit of magic and you don't have to do any efforts for it you know it has to be just there so your trust in the universe will um go up a level your connection with the universe your connection with with god if you like um could could uh, improve not only because of uranus there in the ninth house but also because of that that magic that um and i'm not talking here about oh magic and being you know uh not having the feet on the ground no 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 it's having and the feet on the ground which is virgo and also having that little bit of magic there which is, which is what Virgos is, which is fantastic news for the Virgos. I'm a Virgo too, looking forward to that. Um, because there's nothing more boring than when your life is just going, um, yeah, same old, same old. Even the Virgos want a bit of magic in their life. And they will, they will. Of course, you have to, these are general horoscopes, you have to be a bit open. But I'm just reading what's going to happen in general. Um, when it comes to health, well, I, I don't see anything uh, special around health-wise, but um, Virgos are normally quite good at that anyways. Uh, Virgos are normally quite conscious when it comes to health, so I would say keep on going. Um, as I said, when it comes to uh, relationships, it's, it's an improvement when, when you compare it with last year, when it's about work. And where you want to go and work, it's also an improvement because you, you don't have the burden of Saturn anymore, you know, uh, being um, restricting you in going forward. So everything goes way more smoothly for you because all those other planets are either in a water sign or either in a fellow Earth sign, which is fantastic. And it's going to stay that way for the whole year. So good news for the Virgos, eh? Because I've seen a lot of Virgos struggling and um, especially with that Saturn there, um, which, which was not uh, the easiest. And especially also with Neptune uh, in relationships, which can cause quite a lot of damage as well. But it seems that 2018 is a bit of a year where things go smoothlier. I would say enjoy it. I would say keep on going. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And if you want a personal reading, just get in touch. Bye bye.